welcome to Curry TV. So on this episode, we are going to be making something special. We are actually past a goal that we have set for ourselves and we are celebrating that with you guys. For that, I have special recipe and then this is going to be with chicken breast. So let me show you one chicken breast that I have cut into a butterfly shape. All right? That's one chicken breast that we'll be using along with the ingredients rest we need some homemade chicken broth lime and few dried red chilies ginger garlic paste coconut milk now this is de-seeded one roma size tomato fresh curry leaves few shallots this is fennel powder and this is thick coconut dry roasted into paste now the spices of course black pepper turmeric powder, coriander powder, red chili powder, and garam masala. And of course, we need salt to taste. So without further ado, let me get my chicken. And we're going to be marinating this and keeping it aside for 10 minutes. And we're going to grill this on, if you want it oil-free, please go for that. Or it'll be even tastier if you can make this in coconut oil. Just saying but the options are always available to us, right? So here's our chicken. To help with the marination, we're going to slightly store the chicken so that all that spices will go in the meat. And then, so it's like a diamond cut that we're making into the chicken breast okay now let's keep that aside now that we have sorted our chicken let's marinate it with ginger garlic paste a little bit of garam masala we'll be using more in our gravy this is coriander powder that's just lightly turmeric powder we also need fresh black pepper okay and of course salt to taste We also will be using fresh squeeze of lemon. Lime, lemon, whatever you want. Okay, now let's marinate this chicken. Okay, now let's rub it all in there, making sure all the sashes that we made, the masalas get in there and absorb all these flavor. Right, we need to do the same thing for the other side. So there you have it. Our chicken is well marinated. Let's close it, seal it together, and let it sit for 10 minutes on the side. Now I, this is, I'm just showing you this one. I have one prepared earlier. Let me show you how that looks like. There you go, see that? This is our fresh, I just marinated this 10 minutes ahead. And when you do those sashes, this is how it looks like. There you have it. Our chicken is ready to be grilled. So if you have this, now it's winter that I can't go outside and barbecue grill, uh, grill this. So I'm gonna do this inside my house. So let's come on over. Okay, I put coconut oil in this. Both of them are just lightly coated with coconut oil. Now what we're going to do is take our chicken breast. Now this will take about five to seven minutes on each side. So I'm going to lay this out. Perfect. Now we're going to open it like so. 
and let it cook. Right? While this is cooking, we're going to start with our sauce. So I'm going to heat up my stuff. Now you need a large pan for this because we are going to be adding our chicken after it's grilled into this dish. Okay, our pan is heating up. Let's add a few spoonful of shallots. Just enough to have a nice thick gravy. And a few curry leaves. Now that the oil is well heated, let's give it a good mix. Saute this till it's that onion caramelizes. Now if you notice, I haven't added any green chili to this. And the reason why I'm going to be adding red dry chilies. And I don't want the ends, so I'm just leaving that out. And let's crush them. The onion started changing its color. Now we're going to add in our tomato. This is one Roma size tomato, de-seeded. Let's add this much right now and see if we need more. If you like more ginger garlic paste, please go ahead and add some. I believe my chicken is well marinated with that ginger garlic paste, so I'm leaving that out. Okay. Now we're going to introduce our spices to this mix. This is dried fennel seed powder. I'm using one spoon of that. along with quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder half a spoon of coriander powder according to your spice if you like less spicy on this stage please add less this is half a teaspoon of red chili powder and this is homemade garam masala so that's three fourths of a spoon let's give it a good mix Now we're going to be adding a little bit of salt. To taste. This is homemade chicken broth. I'm just using quarter cup of it. Let's lower our heat and we also need to check on our chicken. It's about time. We need to flip it over. Perfect. 
and continue cooking there while we are going to be adding this is dry roasted coconut so there's one and a half spoonful of dry roasted coconut paste which I've just added and just mix that in and let this gravy comes to nice thick consistency so the first fried chicken is done my the second one is on the stove in the meantime our gravy is nice and thick we need to add in our coconut milk this is half cup of first press coconut milk let's give it a good mix Dry roasted coconut paste is so good. Now we're going to let this come to a nice thick gravy. Check your salt. Our gravy is nice and thick. It tastes amazing and it smells heaven, heavenly here. Okay, now to add our final touch, the fresh ground fennel powder, we're just going to put it on top, just a pinch, and give it a good mix. All right? Now what we're going to do is, okay, our chicken is done, so we're going to take each portion, like so, and place it into the pan. This piece I was able to hold the shape. There we go. Goes into this space right here. Oof. Cover the chicken with the gravy and okay. Same thing. Aha. The chicken is nice and juicy, so soft. Same thing. Oop, got extra hand here. Okay, flip it over and let that come to a simmer. Okay, so the bubbles have started to form. That's good. We're done. Alright, there you have it, our special dish. So please give it a try. I hope to hear from you. Now the reason why I said this is actually a milestone for us and we are celebrating it with you is that we have celebrated six months into Curry TV. So for the six months birthday, I thought I was spending something special for you guys, just for you guys. And to those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit that bell icon. I hope to see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.